Alright, I guess the first thing is to get a little bit of water. Put some food dye in it so it's colored. And then you'll want a syringe up here. Get some cooking oil. Vegetable oil works just fine. Pull some of it up. And you'll want one of these little bottles. That's about $3 for two bottles. Put your cooking oil in. Generally we like it to go inside the bottle, but that doesn't always happen. And you'll want it to fill roughly halfway. It doesn't have to be all the way halfway. Then get your syringe and your dyed water. If you try to put the dye in the cooking oil, it won't mix. So you want your dye in the water. Then put that in there. You want to fill it up enough so that you'll have a little bit of air still on top. about right there is good the blue shows up really loud through the rest of it so the entire thing will look blue for the most part but if you look at it in the right light you'll be able to see the clearness of it now what I like to do is use one of these fancy little things which is a jump ring opener you just slip it onto your finger like this get yourself a pair of small pliers and some findings Now the proper technique to using these is to grip the findings, also called jump rings, grip them right on the edge, put it right here, and you'll open it straight to one side or the other so that the little shear line here crosses right over itself. You don't want to open them straight open because that will end up warping them. And you'll want your necklace piece slip it on there and just set it aside and take the cork to the bottle and some super glue and what I usually like to do is put a little dab of super glue right on one side turn it 180 degrees and put a small dab of super glue on the other side and then put it into the bottle and twist it so you spread the super glue around and let it sit and dry. Once it's set and dry, you take your jump ring again and here I have one that's already set and dried. So let me grab that real quick. And you just take your jump ring, slip that onto the loop and close it like so. And voila, you have a magic potion bottle. And I'll post a couple of pictures of what this looks like when you shake it up.